Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one it is time for my week 3 challenges guide showing you tips, tricks, and secrets to help you guys get done with the challenges as fast as possible. Today I'm going to be showing you the location of the star where you have to search where the magnifying glass is focused on like the loading screen. I'll show you the exact location of that. Also the location of the secret loading screen star for this week as well as tips and tricks for the other challenges as well such as like how to best find chests for the chest challenge and stuff stuff like that. So overall guys going to be a very helpful video and if you do find these guides helpful and you want to help support me and future guides be sure to use code THELLAMASER in the item shop. You simply put it down in the bottom right corner code T-H-E-L-L-A-M-A-S-I-R. I seriously do appreciate it a ton and big thanks to all of you who have already been doing so. Now on top of that be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy these videos and also comment what tier you guys are at because I'm curious how far along you guys are in the challenges. For me I'm at tier 58 but I did purchase that head start at the beginning. So yeah guys, without further ado here, let's jump on into it. Well, first of all, as you guys know, we go over the quick overview of the challenges for those of you who aren't home to see the challenges yet. So yeah, of course, again, we're going to be covering the loading screen star. It is a star this week, which is always fun. And then for the challenges themselves, we have got deal headshot damage to opponents, destroy cacti in the desert plus stages. Also get an elimination with a pistol, SMG, and a sniper rifle. I'll show you some tips and tricks for those. Search where the magnifying glass sits on the treasure map loading screen. I'll show you the location of that. Visit two locations in a single match stages. Search chests at fatal fields or sunny step. Again, I've got some good chest locations to show you for that. And also place different trap slot items in a single match. So yeah, guys, some very interesting challenges for this week, but let's go ahead and jump into it with the first one I want to cover in today's video, and that is the destroy cacti in the desert plus stages. Now, as of right now, I'm only going to go over the first stage in this video simply because I haven't had time to get to the other ones trying to put this video out to you guys as quickly as possible But I'm thinking I'll probably just update the pinned comment down below with the other stages and like a quick tip for how to do those But yeah for the cacti in the desert I have an amazing place to go for this personally It is a spot I stop off at a ton whenever I'm in the desert because it's great for getting wood And you can like get these materials super fast and it's from cacti So basically the location that I'm talking about right here is right next to paradise palms It's in between paradise palms and and the Gus racetrack. But as you can see, you go up this hill right here. It's also near that like big mountain, but as you can see, there's this like valley, whatever you want to call it, with a ton of cactus or cacti again. <laughs> Not exactly sure how you say that. I think it's cacti, but yeah, as you can see, there's a ton of these. So you can either land here starting out or go to uh, Paradise Palms and then make your way over here. But there's plenty to farm and you'll be able to get this part of the challenge done super, super easily if you go here. But keeping it going here, let's move on to one of the tougher challenges. And this is technically the secret challenge, but it is basically the secret loading screen star for this week. Last week it was a banner and then the week before it, it was a star, so it does seem to be following that trend of for the loading screen type challenges. It switches between a star, then a banner, and so on and so forth. So next week will likely be a banner, but for this week it is a star and I believe that gets you a free tier if you do find it, so might as well show you the exact location right here so you don't even have to worry about it. Now again guys, you do have to complete three weeks of challenges for this specific star to show up. Pretty sure it doesn't matter which weeks it is but if you're watching this video like recently after the week three challenges come out basically just you know complete the three weeks that you have available to you and you should be able to have this uh challenge unlock it will not show up before you complete three weeks of challenges so just something to keep in mind right there but as for the exact location of it as you guys know they usually hide a clue in the loading screen since obviously well it's the loading screen challenge and the loading screen has been floating around a bunch on reddit and twitter and stuff like that and the clue for it shows a location in um, well near the volcano. So if you go over to the volcano, the location you want to go to is actually between the volcano and Lonely Lodge. It's a little bit hidden, but it is this like piece of temple right over here. Specifically, it's the one that's sort of like in the mountain, as you can see. And I'm pretty sure this is where the star should show up. Now, I think it's either going to be on these steps right here or inside of it. Not 100% sure, so check both of those. Probably the stairs. And also, guys, if for whatever reason the location of this changes, simply check the pinned comment down below for updates, but I really do think it should be right here. So yeah, guys, be sure to pick that one up for a free tier. But then after that, guys, you have a super easy one, which is simply to place different trap slot items in a single match, which honestly is pretty easy. And also, I'm pretty sure the items that count for this, I haven't tested all of them, but like obviously you have the damage trap, the launch pad, the uh, turret, and also the campfires. So I believe those are the four that you can use for this. But yeah, basically you're going to need a little bit of luck on your side to uh, find these. Personally, I would 
would recommend Team Rumble because again, it's easier to find loot. Also, you could, you know, find the supply drops. There's always a bunch that spawn near the start of uh, the game and in Disco Domination, it should be fairly close to the start. But yeah, if you find those supply drops, they generally have like some trap slot items. So that should help you out as well. And then after that, guys, one of the other challenges I want to discuss real quick is the deal headshot damage to opponents. This one too is very straightforward, shouldn't take you that long. And honestly, I would save this one until the very end because, well, if you're going to get into fights while going for the other challenges, I mean, one of them coming up is to get an elimination with specific weapons. So basically, if you do this one with that one or maybe not even worry about it, you may get headshot damage without even trying to and that will save you time. Or honestly, don't even like try to do it. You could probably just play games normally like solo duo squads, whatever, and you're probably going to end up getting headshot damage without even trying for it. It's one of those challenges that you'll probably just get eventually without even having to worry about it. But moving on to the next challenge I want to discuss with you guys, this is the search chests at Fatal Fields or Sunny Steps. Now let's just go ahead and jump into it with the tips, tricks, and secrets because first of all, what I recommend for this one is doing a big team LTM like Disco Domination is the one that's live right now. But if Team Rumble is live, do that because, well, obviously you have two different buses with your teams and the enemy's teams. So if one of these locations is on your side, that means it's generally going to be more safe to go and find chests at. Now on top of that, I also think it may spawn more chests in these big team LTMs. Not 100% sure, but that's just how it feels to me personally. So, you know, something to keep in mind. Now also, I personally would recommend going to Sunny Steps over uh, Fatal Fields if you can. Just because Sunny Steps is more of a new location, not a lot of people are going to know the chests. So if you know the locations of them ahead of time, you can maybe get a head start while they're looking around and have a little bit of an advantage and maybe find more chests since, you know, Fatal Fields has been around for a long time. Also, you know, that location is very out in the open. So personally, I do recommend Sunny Steps, but you can do Fatal Fields. But yeah, since I do recommend Sunny Steps, I'm going to cover those chests and like which ones you should go for and like where some of the more secretive ones are and where to avoid in this location. But like, for example, here, let's just jump right into it. I would first of all recommend not going to these buildings right here. I feel like they're a little more common just because they are, well, you know, pretty unique. They're sort of like pyramids and stuff like that. And honestly, there's not a ton of chests here. There are three chests in the main big one. As you can see, there's one near the water and then two off to the sides, like under these little areas, as you can see right here. And then I think there's maybe one in the smaller pyramids. Not 100% sure, but either way, save that for the end because I feel like most people are going to, you know, go there. Now instead, I would recommend going over to this side right here. Now you can start off at the main building right here because there's one chest under here, as you can see. Then if you go up to the floor above, there's a chest right there. And then if you keep going, there is another chest right over here. Now that's not the end of it. If you keep going along this line, or I think it's to the west, you can find a couple more chests in the building next to it with one right here and also one uh, up here as well. So yeah, those are five chests and I feel like you're not going to run into as many people going for those. And then after that, if you need a couple more, you can, you know, explore the other buildings and find them. I would avoid this one right here too, just because there is only one chest. It's a fairly big building for one chest. But yeah, guys, there you go for the chest. So hopefully that helps you out. But then after that, guys, let's talk about the secret star location or more like the search for specific thing challenge. You guys know what I'm talking about. Basically for this one, the clue we were given was um, search where the magnifying glass sits on the treasure map loading screen. And don't worry, guys, I got the location of it for you right here. Now, real quick before we get into it, if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I post these guides every single week giving you guys tips, tricks, and secrets to help you get the challenges done fast. And if you don't want to miss those videos, the best way to know about them is to be subscribed and have notifications turned on. But yeah, getting back into the challenge, let's go over the location of this one right here. But first of all, here's the loading screen that it is referring to. You don't need to like open up the loading screen or anything like that. I'm just showing you that while well, the magnifying glass seems to be showing this location near Polar Peak. Now it shows like a circle of trees around like a statue or something like that. Well, I believe it's actually referencing the ice statues or whatever that are at this location. So if you go into game and I'm just in replay, but you want to find these trees right over to the southwest of Polar Peak. And you also find a bunch of these ice statues. Now I'm pretty sure the star is right in between these. And I think it's actually at this patch right here. I didn't have time to actually go into game and test it out. I was just simply in replay recording as quickly as possible for these different challenges. Again, trying to get all of these out to you guys as quickly as possible. So it should be there. But if for some reason they change the location of it or something, simply check the pinned comment down below. But honestly, that is where the clue is showing. And there's a patch right here. So at least it should be here or around this general area. So yeah, guys, there's that challenge right there. But let's keep it going here with two more challenges. And this one right here is to get an elimination with a pistol, SMG, and also a sniper rifle. 
beautiful. So this one is honestly pretty straightforward as well. But of course, there are still some tips and tricks I can give you for this one. Now, the first of which is to simply do a big team limited time mode. That is going to help you out a bunch with this simply because you know if it's a mode that has respawns, respawns can be very, very helpful. So whether or not that's Disco Domination or Team Rumble, it depends on when you're watching this video and what modes are live. But by far, having those respawns is going to help you out a ton because you don't have to worry about picking these weapons up and then losing them if you get eliminated. Now, the first of those two, Pistol and SMG, are probably going to be the easiest. The tougher one is obviously the Sniper Rifle, but you know, just practice with the Sniper Rifle, maybe go into Creative, get warmed up with like how the bullet drops and stuff like that. And especially if you're in a mode like Disco Domination, you can just sit back and wait for somebody to stand still and then fire a shot at them. And also the thing that is great about these modes is that a lot of the times those people won't have shield because of the respawns and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, but then moving on to the final challenge I want to talk about in this video, I'm not going to talk about this one too much, but it is the visit two locations in a single match stages. Now, I'm just going to give you tips and tricks for these overall because, well, it's uh, visit two location stages. There's not really that much different between the stages besides, you know, the location switching up. So basically, like for overall tips for this, by far the best thing to do is use a vehicle, whether or not that's a drift board or the new baller vehicle. Both of those will work very well. Unfortunately, planes or storm wings are no longer in the game. Those are probably the best for this type of challenge. But honestly, the drift board works very well for moving between locations fast. So be sure to keep an eye out for those. And then for the game mode, like a big team limited time mode is probably going to be the best for this. But honestly, game mode is not a huge deal. You can also do solo and those will probably work fine. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more challenge guide for more challenge guides coming up in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, my week two challenges guide, and then on the right, some update changes in the recent update. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.